What's up guys? Those of you who follow us know all about cash secured puts and credit spreads. We typically pick one or the other when we enter into a trade, but today we're going to talk about a trade where we actually use both to work together and provide a nice range of profit uh, that looks like this for the coming week and we could potentially take home a profit of $650 on the trade. So how does it work and why did we enter into it? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the Hourglass Trader where as time passes, we make money. Now what you may notice about this is that we're using the ticker UVXY and UVXY is a little bit different than other tickers and let me explain that to you via this very nice excerpt from ETF.com slash UVXY. It's the ProShares Ultra VIX Short Term Futures ETF. A lot of words just to say that this stock essentially provides a 1.5x leveraged exposure uh, to an index comprising first and second month VIX futures positions with a weighted average maturity of one month. Uh, which even though it's a shorter sentence is still a lot of words just to say uh, that it's the inverse of the S&P 500 essentially. So you'll notice that when UVXY is going up, the S&P 500 of the same period is going down. You see a big dip here on UVXY the same day S&P 500 is going up. And finally, to further prove the point, S&P 500 on September 13th was dropping here and UVXY was going up. So what we want to keep in the back of our minds is that this is a bearish position on the market when we play this bullishly. Now looking at UVXY a little bit more broadly, one other trend that is very, very important to keep in mind is that over the long run, this stock goes down. Keep that in mind. If we go to the three-year chart right here, you see that it spikes up and when's this spike? It's in March of 2020. That's when the COVID crash was. Essentially the way that this functions, people use it to hedge against big crashes. So we want to remember that, that it goes down in the long run and it spikes when the market really, really starts dipping. And that's kind of the purpose of the instrument. So let's go back to the five day chart. We could see here that there's a range between, uh, you know, nine and eleven dollars. If we back out to the one month chart, similar range between nine and roughly eleven dollars a share. So let's look at this from the first perspective of, OK, well, let's maybe look at selling a cash secured put on UVXY. So with UVXY closing last Friday when we entered into this trade in the afternoon, it was trading at 10.4 a share. So the logical train of thought would be to sell something like a September 23rd expiry, which is this week, 10 strike put for 32 cents a piece. And our profitability there looks about how you would expect, right? Anything above 10 our strike, we make $320. Our break even price is roughly 968 and anything below that we start to lose some money. That's all well and good. And I'm actually a big fan of playing these UVXY cash secured puts on a week to week basis, because again, they hedge against the stock market very, very well. And if you have an overall bullish portfolio, it can be very helpful in times when the market pulls back to have a position like this, making at least a little bit of money for you so you don't get absolutely crushed. And with that said, I've actually gone to our profit tracker and added it all up with this formula right here that adds up anytime we see UVXY mentioned. We've actually on UVXY alone made about $1,300 this year. Uh, so it's been a very good position individually. And that's why I like leg one of this trade being this cash secured put that we talked about. And while we like this trade individually, I think it works so much better together with this bearish call credit spread that we've added right here. So let's talk about that bearish call credit spread, right? If we go back to the same website options profit calculator to view the profitability of this, we sell short the 10.5 strike call, we buy the 12 strike call behind it. And what does that leave us with? Yes, there's a little bit of a max loss up here of 1170. But again, anything 10, 50 and below, we take home max profit of $330 because we sold that for a 33 cent credit. Now, why are we taking the credit spread approach? You might say HT, you know, you've got a little bit of risk up here. Is it really going to get up to 13? Do we need to buy the, the long leg of the call to hedge this and, you know, cap your losses? And to that, I would say, absolutely. We go back to this three-year chart. What does UVXY do sometimes? It spikes up. So this is really the one big risk with UVXY is this huge spike if we're short on it. Uh, so to mitigate that risk, we're just going to buy that long leg at the 12.5 strike call to complete the credit spread and cap our losses. But you'll remember this is just this credit spread alone. Yes, you could lose 1170 if it gets up to this level at 12. But remember, on this first leg, you're making 320 bucks. So we could play with the price here a little bit, right? Our max loss is anything 12 and above, giving us an $850 overall loss. Now there are two, look, if, if it goes up to 12, that's a tough loss. And I think a lot of our risk on this trade is on the upside. Yes, UVXY could get onto seven and we potentially lose a little bit more than that. But if we take a look at the progression of UVXY as a stock, especially over the last 180 days, it'd have to drop all the way down here during the week. And 
UVXY typically, again, remember that three-year trend, it doesn't necessarily spike down. This thing spikes up and then slowly bleeds out over time to give you this inevitable dip in the price of the asset. So heading back to the five-day, again, remember, if we even look at the one-month chart here, we have a range between 9 and 11.21 is the peak that was previously established. So if we take a look at that, even at the top end of the peak, right, 11.21, we're only losing about 60 bucks. Uh, so that kind of handles our upside risk. Yes, something could happen where the market goes absolutely insane and it spikes up to, you know, 100. But again, that's why we cap our losses with the spread. So our max loss, no matter how high this thing goes, is still going to be $850. Now let's talk a little bit about the downside here, right? Uh, we actually have this tab up here to demonstrate what these look like together, where we have the call credit spread right here. Excuse me, the call credit spread is right here. And then the 10 strike puts that we wrote are right here. And what you can see is that mellowed out loss, right? It's not quite as steep as it used to be because we balance it out with that bullish cash secured put that we sold. So there's 840 loss on the top side. Now there's a little bit more loss if we drop this chart down to seven. You know, theoretically a much larger loss if it goes down to seven, but we talked about the trends on the chart. That really is not that likely of an outcome. But let's talk about what our plan is if it does hit that downside loss, right? We know that we could just handle the spread or just close out the position for a predefined max loss on the high side. But if it goes down to like 8.5 this next week, we're still going to be looking at an 850 loss. But what's plan B? What's plan C, right? When we enter into these trades, we don't want to just have step one or plan A. We want to have steps two, three, and four behind it and ready to go. And the answer is that we would treat this like any other cash secured put where we would take assignment. And the way that we would wanna view that, right, is through what our break-even price would be. So with the 10 strike put that we initially sold for 32 cents of premium, uh, alone on these cash secured puts, our break-even price would be 968. Not quite down to that 850 level if we did see some sort of catastrophic weekly drop, but we'll remember we also supplemented this with this call credit spread where we received a 33 cent credit. So that knocks another 33 cents off of our break even price because we sold 10 credit spreads in addition to 10 cash secured puts and that gets us down to 935. Again, not quite into that eight ish level, but the great thing about UVXY and how volatile it is within the range is that there's really, really nice premiums on it on a week to week basis. Uh, so right now it's trading at about 1034 a share. You could look just out of the money, you're pushing almost 50 cents ish of premium, or you could go slightly into the money and take 70 cents. Uh, for purposes of this exercise, we can kind of split the difference and call it 60 cents of premium. You would have the 935 premium off the bat. You could take assignment of the shares with the 10 strike put, sell a covered call for another 60 cents of premium. And just like that on Friday afternoon with only just taking assignment of these, having these expire worthless and selling covered calls next week, your break even price hypothetically is now down to 875. And again, if we go to that UVX chart, where's 875? Again, we're looking at the one month here and we only are playing this for one week. That is where our break even price would be plenty manageable on the downside. So to that point, I think a lot of our risk lies potentially on the upside, but we're comfortable with that risk one, because our losses are capped uh, above 12, right? Our losses are capped thanks to this call credit spread that we sold. Uh, and our loss anywhere above 1250 is going, or excuse me, our loss anywhere above 12 is gonna be the exact same $840. What's also great about this is that we talked about the long-term trend on UVXY. It typically goes down. So more weeks than not, uh, the, the risk that we're gonna have to focus on is that downside risk, which we demonstrated uh, we can easily mitigate by taking assignment and driving our break-even price down uh, below $9 a share. The other thing that we really like about this is since it's not just a cash secured put, it's also a call credit spread, we have a little bit of a range between $10 a share and $10.50 a share, where if we finish anywhere between 10 or 10.50, we're taking home double the profits, right? We're taking home $650 of profit as demonstrated right in this range right here. And this may seem like a small range visually looking at just this chart, but remember we've got this thing zoomed out between seven and 13, just for purposes of understanding what potential losses would look like at different levels. On a much more realistic approach, this thing really is just ranging between nine and 11. And if we wanna finish the exercise and put this chart between nine and 11, that profit range of 660 starts to look a lot bigger, right? This is the range we've seen over the last month and there is a lot of green.
So that's what the UVXY trade looks like when we combine a cash secured put and a call credit spread. Not only do we get that downside protection from the call credit spread, but if it runs against us, we have capped losses and we recoup a little bit of profit from those cash secured put. Uh, thanks to those of you who watched the video. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, but again, thanks for watching. We stream live Sunday nights, 9 or 10 o'clock Eastern time. Honestly, kind of just depends on the schedule. Uh, but hourglass-trader.com to see everything else we offer. But until next time, this has been Hourglass Trader, where as time passes, we make money.